Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. I've just taken delivery of a new song meter mini, and I'm eager to get started with some recording. Let's see what's in the box. The first thing I see is a sheet of paper called Get Started Faster. The complete user guide is available from within the app and as a download, and we'll be posting more tutorial videos that describe every detail of the song meter mini. But these simple instructions are all I need to get started. I'll take the song meter mini out of its box. The lid of the song meter mini snaps onto the recorder. I'll grasp the edges and remove the lid. Notice there's a gasket seal to keep the recorder waterproof. Inside the recorder, I see the battery holder and SD memory card holder. I'll insert four AA batteries. I can use alkaline, nickel metal hydride, or even lithium AA batteries. As I insert each battery, I'll take care to make sure the polarity is correct. And now I'll insert the SD memory card. Make sure the switch on the side of the card is not set for write protection. The Song Meter Mini is programmed via an app on either an iOS or Android device. The Song Meter Mini Configurator app can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or Google Play. To make it even easier, I can also just scan the QR code from the Quick Start instructions. I'll check to make sure Bluetooth is enabled on my mobile device, and then I'll launch the app. Next, I'll turn the power switch on on the Song Meter Mini. You can see the flashing LEDs as the recorder boots up. The first time you do this, you may notice the Bluetooth LED flashing red. That's normal and indicates the clock of the recorder needs to be set. We'll do that in the next step. Once the Song Meter Mini is powered on and is within Bluetooth range, it is detected by the app and is then listed in the recorder's screen. I'll press and hold the pair button for three seconds. The Bluetooth LED blinks green, indicating the recorder is ready to pair with the app. You can see the Configurator app has detected the recorder and a pair icon is now available. I'll tap the pair icon and the recorder and app are now in full communication. You may get a series of messages about configuring the time zone and location. Tap yes or allow for each of these. Recorder location and time zone can be set automatically by the mobile device or can be configured manually. Next, I'll tap the Configure icon, and that opens the Paired Configuration Editor for the recorder. Here I see settings for audio, location, and other things such as editing the recorder name. I'll leave all the default settings for now and just choose a preset recording schedule. The preset recording schedules represent common deployment techniques, and of course you can further customize that schedule if you like. Anytime I make a change in the Paired Configuration Editor, that change is immediately downloaded to the Song Meter Mini Recorder. Once I've chosen my recording schedule, I'll go back to the recorder's screen and tap the Unpair icon. My Song Meter Mini is now configured and ready to deploy and record.